Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing With Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. For tonight's game, we are showcasing some of our patrons who were inspired by our budget CEDH videos. They all ramp the power level up to 11 while ramping the budget down to $100. If you want to see more budget CDH games, check out the links in the description. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Mark piloting Zerta the Dawn Waker. This is a proactive deck that looks to assemble an infinite mana combo. Once infinite has been created, there are a number of different outlets for victory. His opening hand contains a Fragmentize, Red Elemental Blast, Desperate Ritual, Village Bell Ringer, Plains, Boros Garrison, and a Mountain. Next, we have Drew piloting the partner pair of Kark the Thumbless and Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. This is a Storm deck that uses its commanders to copy and recur spells for ridiculous value. His opening hand contains two Islands, Talisman of Creativity, two Mountains, Negate, and a Disrupt. After that, we have Greg piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Vile Smasher the Fierce. This is a control deck known as Curious Control or Four Color Control. This particular version is a budgeted version while still packing lots of interaction and card advantage. His opening hand contains a Temple of Epiphany, Spire of Industry, Island, Muddle the Mixture, Talisman of Curiosity, Curiosity, and a Spell Pierce. Finally, we have Sean piloting Marwyn the Nurturer. This is an Elf Ball deck that assembles an infinite mana combo and then uses that mana to assemble a win. His opening hand contains an Elvish Archdruid, Findhorn Elves, Court of Calling, Imperius Perfect, Scrib Ranger, a Forest, and his London Mulligan is a Garuk Primal Hunter. Without further ado, let's begin this fabulous Fast Factual Fancy Factory of Fun. Mark wins the Who Has the Most Ryans on a Playmat Challenge and gets to start us off. Mark draws a card for turn and plays a mountain. He casts a Soul Ring and the entire table groans. It resolves and he passes. Drew draws a card for turn and plays an island. He passes to Greg. Greg draws a card for turn and plays a Temple of Epiphany, tapped. He scries one and then ends the turn. Sean draws a card for turn and plays a forest. He casts a fine horn elves. He shifts the turn. Mark draws and casts a torch courier. He plays a Boros Garrison tapped, returning mountain to his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Drew with torch courier. Drew takes the poke and then Mark passes the turn. Drew draws and plays a mountain. He casts his commander, Krok the Thumbless. Drew ends the turn. Greg draws and plays a spire of industry. He casts a talisman of curiosity. He passes. Sean draws and gets punished for his greedy keep, not finding a second land drop. He ends the turn. Mark draws and plays a mountain. He casts a pyrite spell bomb. He moves to combat and attacks Greg with torch courier. Greg takes one and Mark passes the turn. Drew draws and then plays an island. He casts a talisman of creativity. Drew passes to Greg. Greg draws and plays an island. He taps fire of industry to cast his commander, Vile Smasher the Fierce. He passes. At the end of Greg's turn, Sean flashes in a scrib ranger. Sean draws and plays a forest. He casts an Imperious Perfect. He ends the turn. At the end of Sean's turn, Mark flashes in a Village Bell Ringer. It resolves and he untaps his creatures. Still in the end step, Mark cracks his Pyrite Spell Bomb and draws a card. Mark draws and plays a Plains. He casts a Commander Sphere. He casts his Commander, Zerta the Dawn Waker. He ships the turn to Drew. At the end of Mark's turn, Drew casts Opt. Kark triggers, he wins the flip and copies Opt. He scries one and draws a card. He scries again and draws again. The turn then moves to Drew. Drew draws and then plays a mountain. He casts his other commander, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. In response, Mark casts Red Elemental Blast, countering Sakashima. Drew casts a Springleaf Drum. He ends his turn. Greg draws and plays a Forest. He casts Curiosity, targeting Vile Smasher. Vile Smasher triggers and deals one damage to Sean. Curiosity resolves and Greg passes. Sean draws and taps a Forest and a Finehorn Elves for mana. He activates Scrib Ranger, returning a Forest to his hand and then untapping Finehorn Elves. He plays a Forest. He casts his commander, Marwyn the Nurturer. Sean passes the turn. At the end of Sean's turn, Mark cracks his commander spear and draws a card. Mark draws and plays a Plains. He casts an Oread of Mountain's Blaze. Mark casts Fragmentize, targeting Springleaf Drum. In response, Drew casts Disrupt, targeting Fragmentize. Krok triggers, Drew loses the flip and then returns Disrupt to his hand. Fragmentize then destroys the Springleaf Drum and then Mark moves to combat. He attacks Drew with Torch Courier and Greg with Zerta. Both players take the hit and then Mark shifts the turn. At the end of Mark's turn, Greg casts Brainstorm. Flashmaster triggers and deals one damage to Mark. Curiosity triggers and Greg draws. Brainstorm resolves, he draws three and then puts two back on top. The turn then moves to Drew. During Drew's upkeep, 
Greg taps Spire of Industry to cast Doomblade, targeting Kark. File Smasher triggers and deals 2 damage to Mark. Curiosity triggers and Greg draws. In response to Doomblade, Drew casts Disrupt, targeting Doomblade. Kark triggers, Drew flips, and he loses the flip again, returning Disrupt to his hand. He taps Talisman of Creativity and recasts Disrupt, targeting Doomblade. Kark triggers, he wins the flip this time, and copies Disrupt. Disrupt resolves, Greg doesn't pay, Doomblade is countered, Drew draws a card, and then the original Disrupt fizzles since there is no longer a valid target. Next, Drew moves to his draw step and draws a card. He plays an island and then passes the turn. Greg draws and plays a Smoldering Marsh, untapped. He casts Massacre for its alternate cost. Vile Smasher triggers, deals 4 damage to Drew, and then Greg draws through Curiosity. In response to Massacre, Sean activates Imperius Perfect, creating an Elf Warrior. Marwin triggers and gets a 1-1 counter. He activates Scrib Ranger, returning a force to his hand, untapping Imperius Perfect. He activates Imperius Perfect again, creates an Elf Warrior, and Marwin gets another counter. With Massacre on the stack, Drew responds by casting Negate. Kark triggers, he wins the flip, and makes a copy of Negate, also targeting Massacre. Negate then counters Massacre. Greg casts a Verity Circle. He passes. Sean draws and plays a Forest. He casts Scale Up, targeting Marwin. In response, Greg taps Talisman of Curiosity and Spire of Industry to cast Muddle the Mixture, targeting Scale Up. File Smasher triggers, deals 2 damage to Sean, and he draws a card through Curiosity. Then Muddle the Mixture counters Scale Up. Sean casts Crop Rotation, sacrificing a Forest. He fetches up a Wirewood Lodge onto the battlefield. He taps Marwin for 4 green. Verity Circle triggers, and Greg draws. Sean taps two Elf Warriors to help cast Court of Calling, where X is equal to 3. Verity Circle triggers twice, and Greg draws two cards. In response, Drew casts Memory Lapse, targeting Cord. Quark triggers, he loses the flip, and returns Memory Lapse to his hand. Cord resolves, and Sean fetches up an Eternal Witness onto the battlefield. It triggers and targets Court of Calling in his graveyard. In response, Mark casts Thrill of Possibility, discarding Desperate Ritual. He draws two cards. Sean then returns Court of Calling to his hand from his graveyard. He activates Scrib Ranger, untapping Marwin and returning a forest to his hand. He taps Marwin for 4 green. Verity Circle triggers and Greg draws. Sean taps 3 more creatures to cast Court of Calling where X is equal to 4. Verity Circle triggers 3 times and then Greg draws 3. Court resolves and Sean fetches up a Teamer Sabertooth onto the battlefield. He taps Finehorn Elves, Verity Circle triggers and Greg draws. Sean activates Wirewood Lodge to untap Marwin. He taps Marwin for 4 green. Verity Circle triggers and Greg draws another card. Sean casts Hyrax Tower Scout. It enters and untaps Marwin. He taps Marwin again. Verity Circle triggers again, and Greg draws. Sean activates Teamer Sabertooth to return Eternal Witness to his hand. He recasts Eternal Witness. It enters and returns Court of Calling from his graveyard to his hand. Unfortunately, Sean is just a few mana short of winning and has to pass. Mark draws and moves to combat. He attacks Greg with Zerta. Greg takes three. In his second main phase, Mark casts Deafening Clarion. In a brutal turn of events, it resolves and wipes the board, except for Village Bellringer. He casts a Dispeller's Capsule. He cracks it and destroys Verity Circle. With the board in shambles, Mark passes the Drew. Drew draws and recasts his commander, Kark the Thumbless. He plays a Mountain. He casts Right of Flame, loses his Kark flip, and then returns it to his hand. He taps Talisman of Creativity to recast Right of Flame. He wins the Kark flip this time and copies it. Right of Flame resolves and he has a total of 4 red. He casts Pyretic Ritual. He wins his Kark Flip, copies it, adding another 6 red. He recasts his other commander, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. It enters as a copy of Kark. He casts Thrill of Possibility, discarding a mountain as an additional cost. He loses his Kark Flip and wins his Sakashima Flip. He copies Thrill and returns the original to his hand. Thrill resolves and he draws two cards. Drew ends his turn. Greg draws and plays an Opulent Palace into play tap. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Talisman of Resilience. He casts Advances Blasting Cannons. Greg passes the turn, discarding to hand size. Sean draws and plays a forest. Desperately trying to rebuild, Sean passes. Mark draws and recasts his commander, Zerda the Dawn Waker. He shifts the turn to Drew. Drew draws and plays an island. He casts Thrill of Possibility, discarding Is It Charm. Kark and Sakashima trigger. He wins both flips and draws six cards. He casts an impulse. He wins his Kark flip, loses his Sakashima flip, and then copies it and returns the original to his hand. He looks at the top four, puts one into his hand, and then bottoms the rest. He casts Snap, targeting Zerta. He wins a flip and loses a flip, copying and returning. The copy bounces Zerta to Mark's hand and Drew untaps two lands. He recasts Snap, targeting Village Bellringer. He wins his Kark flip, copies it, and then loses his Sakashima flip, returning it to his hand. 
The copy bounces Village Bell Ringer and Drew untaps two lands. Drew casts Impulse, loses his Quirk Flip, wins his Sakashima Flip, and then copies Impulse and returns it to his hand. He looks at the top four, puts one into his hand, and bottoms the rest. He casts Snap again, targeting Krark since there are no other valid targets on the board. He wins a flip and loses a flip. He returns Snap to his hand and copies it. The copy bounces Krark to his hand and he untaps Dulan. He recasts Krark the Thumbless. Drew passes. At the end of Drew's turn, Greg taps Spire of Industry to cast Izzet Charm, dealing two damage to Krark. Krark dies, Drew discards the hand size, and then the turn moves to Greg. During Greg's upkeep, Vance's Blasting Cannons trigger and he exiles an exotic orchard from the top of his library. He draws and plays an island. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He recasts other commander, Vile Smasher the Fierce. He taps Talisman of Resilience to cast Keen Sense, targeting Vile Smasher. Vanson's Blasting Cannons trigger and Greg transforms it into Spitfire Bastion. Greg ends the turn. Sean draws and casts an OK Maversary. Sean passes to Mark. Mark draws and plays a Command Tower. He shifts the turn. Drew draws and plays an Island. He casts a High Tide, triggering Sakashima. In response, Greg casts Dispel, targeting High Tide. Vile Smasher deals 1 damage to Sean, and Greg draws through Keen Sense. Dispel then counters High Tide. Sakashima's trigger resolves, he wins the flip, and Drew copies High Tide. With a copy of High Tide on the stack, Greg responds by casting Drown in the Lock, countering the copy of High Tide. Drew casts Twin Flame, targeting Sakashima. He loses his Sakashima flip and returns Twin Flame to his hand. He recasts Twin Flame, targeting Sakashima. He wins his Sakashima flip and copies Twin Flame, targeting Sakashima. Drew makes two more copies of Sakashima, which enter as copies of Quirk. He casts Desperate Ritual, triggering all three of his Sakashimas. In response, Mark casts Silence. Unfortunately, Silence resolves, locking Drew out of casting spells. Sakashima's triggers resolve, Drew wins one and loses two. He returns Desperate Ritual to his hand and copies it, adding three red. Drew passes, exiling his Sakashima tokens. Greg draws and casts a Gilded Lotus. Thong Smasher deals five damage to Sean and Greg draws through Keen Sense. He moves to combat and attacks Mark with Vile Smasher. Mark takes two, and then Greg draws through Keen Sense again. In his second main phase, Greg casts Biomancer's Familiar. He passes to Sean. Sean draws and plays a forest. He moves to combat and attacks Greg with OK Adversary. Greg takes it and OK Adversary triggers. Sean draws, and in his second main phase, he casts an Elvish Arch Druid. Sean ships the turn to Mark. At the end of Sean's turn, Mark flashes in a Village Bell Ringer. Still in the end step, Greg casts in a Braid, targeting Sakashima. Vile Smasher triggers, and in response, Drew casts Mizium Skin, targeting Sakashima. He wins his Sakashima flip and copies Mizium Skin, also targeting Sakashima. In response, Greg casts Neutralize, countering the copy of Mizium Skin. He then casts Spell Pierce, targeting the original Mizium Skin. Spell Pierce counters Mizium Skin, then Vile Smasher's trigger resolves, dealing 2 damage to Sean. Greg draws through Keen Sense. Then a Braid deals 3 damage to Sakashima, killing him. With the stack finally clear, the turn moves to Mark. Mark draws and moves the combat. He attacks Drew with Village Bellringer. Drew takes one and Mark passes. Drew draws and plays an island. He casts an impulse. He looks at the top four, puts one into his hand, and then bottoms the rest. He recasts his commander, Krark the Thumbless. He ends the turn. At the end of Drew's turn, Greg activates Thrasios. He scries one and reveals a sunken hollow, putting onto the battlefield tapped. Greg draws and plays an island. He casts OK Adversary. Vile Smasher triggers, deals four damage to Mark, and Greg draws through Keen Sense. He moves to combat and attacks Mark with Vile Smasher. Mark takes it and then Greg draws through Keen Sense. Greg ships a turn to Sean. Sean draws and plays a forest. He moves to combat and attacks Mark with Okame Adversary. Mark takes it and Sean draws through Okame. Sean passes the turn. Mark draws and casts a Sabine's Reclamation, targeting Oriad of Mountain's Blaze. Reclamation resolves and Oriad enters the battlefield. He casts Zerta the Dawn Waker. In response, Greg activates Thrasios. He scries one, reveals a Dissolve, and then casts Dissolve targeting Zerta. Vile Smasher triggers, deals 3 damage to Mark, and then Greg draws through Keen Sense. Dissolve counters Zerta, and Greg scries 1. Mark passes to Drew. Drew draws and casts Rao, Storm Conduit. In response, Greg casts Frantic Search. Vile Smasher triggers, deals 3 damage to Mark, and then Greg draws through Keen Sense. Frantic Search resolves, he draws 2, discards 2, and then untaps 3 lands. He activates Thrasios, scries 1, and reveals a Wishclaw Talisman. He activates Thrasios again, scries 1, and reveals a Flame Sweep. Greg activates Thrasios, scries one, and reveals a Mana Geode. Greg then passes priority, but with Rao still on the stack, Mark casts Pyroblast, countering Rao. Next, Drew casts a Mission Briefing. He wins the Kark Flip and copies it. He surveils two, mills one, and then leaves one on top. With the original Mission Briefing still on the stack, 
Drew casts High Tide from his graveyard with the mission briefing copy. He loses the Kirk trigger and returns High Tide to his hand. The original mission briefing resolves, Drew surveils two and mills two. He casts Rite of Flame from his graveyard from mission briefing. He wins the Kirk flip and copies it. He thinks for a bit and then decides to hold open mana. Drew wins the turn. At the end of Drew's turn, Greg activates Thrasios, scries one, and reveals a Temple of the False God, putting it onto the battlefield tapped. He activates Thrasios again, scries one, and reveals a Reality Shift. Greg draws and plays a Sulphur Falls. He casts a Wishclaw Talisman. Vile Smasher triggers and deals two damage to Mark, and Greg draws through Keen Sense. He activates Wishclaw Talisman, fetches up a card into his hand, and then gives the Talisman to Mark. Greg casts Basalt Monolith. He follows it up with a Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. In response, Sean casts Court of Calling, where X is equal to 3. Greg responds by casting Miscast, countering Cord. Kennen resolves, and Greg presents a loop of tapping Basalt Monolith for 4, and then activating it to untap for 3. He generates infinite colorless mana with this loop. He sinks his mana into Thrasios, drawing his deck. He casts Thassa's Oracle with an empty library, and wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congratulations to Greg on his win. He had all the right answers at the right times. He also did a great job of developing his board while stopping his opponents in their tracks. The most valuable card for this game was a little tough to decide, but we have to give it to Verity Circle. This is what allowed Greg to have so many cards and maintain his lead after he had it draw him 10 cards in one turn cycle. Verity Circle is a very underrated card but against certain decks, it's absolutely backbreaking. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Thanks again to our patrons who participated in this game and to each patron who makes up our great community. You can join us as well by signing up to our Patreon. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more great content. Tune in next time when we do get out to see who will be king of the competitive EDDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, it is Patreon shoutout time. Want to give a Patreon shoutout to an Alaskan bullworm, Dark, Philip Hickey, D. Roach, Brad Tobin, Sanguina Lindsay, Snarps the Cleft, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Dante, Baby Jeebus, Trey Payne, Rakeko, James O. Gunsikin, O. Gunsikin. Ogunsikin, that's a, whew, all right, Ogunsikin, Zods, Noah Saldana, Wyon, Ferberglund, Spielrahu, Sparks, CZ, and Nick. Thanks a lot, everyone. Really appreciate it.